times are changing and certainly not for the better. So what excuse do we have now to not learn the book of Allah? Our most popular book is back on Amazon. So you can learn all the stories from Quran in 30 days. Order your copies now. From being the ruler of ancient Egypt to becoming the most cursed person ever. From proclaiming himself as a lord to ending up with his body eaten by rats. Brother and sisters, the person who do shirk, oppress his nation, oppose cruel laws to his nation will bear a great punishment in this life and afterwards, and Allah has shown us. Brothers and sisters, a video has been going viral on social media in various Asian countries. It claims that the National Geographic Channel has released a video in which we can hear different voices emanating from the Firen's mummy. <coughs> the person also claimed that the language in which Firen was talking was an extinct language, which means no one understands this language. <laughs> Is this video and claims real? Bring brother and sisters. Allah says in the Quran, Today we preserve your body, so that you are a sign for those who come after you. Brother and sisters, Allah is fulfilling his promise in several ways. If you know the story of Prophet Musa and Pharaoh, Pharaoh was Pharaoh of Egypt, who considered himself a Allah, an arrogant and oppressor. He persecuted the Banu Israel, as he had a vision that a boy from that tribe would take the throne from him. This caused him to kill all the baby boys of the Bani Israel. Little did he know that the baby boy he had adopted was the very one who would take his throne. Allah sent Musa to bring him to Islam, but Faryon refused this message. Faryon and his army were drowned in the Red Sea. His army was coming after Musa and the Banu Israel children of Israel. When Musa reached the Red Sea, Allah told him to strike his staff on the ground. The sea split in half, letting Musa and his people escape from Faryon. Prophet Musa and his people reached land on the other side of the sea. Faryon and his army followed the path that was still in the water still pursuing Musa. Allah closed the path on Firon and his army, causing them to drown. Firon isn't buried because Allah wants people to learn from the true story of Musa and Firon. This story is basically a warning to ignorant people like Firon. It is also said that neither the land nor the sea would want the remains of the body of Firon, brother and sisters. Now we can see how Allah fulfilled his promise. But the viral video about which we talked previously was just made up story. Actually, it was just scientific experiment, which CBS Morning and CNET Channel covered, in which scientists just mimic the voice of a mummy by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with the 3D printer. It allows them to create a single sound. <coughs> the vocal cords of the mummy used were a 3,000-year-old Egyptian priest named Nejiamun. So, we should not believe everything on social media and spread it among others. As Allah says in the Quran chapter 49 verse 6, O oh, you have true faith. If one who publicly and openly commits sins brings you any news concerning another person, then ascertain its truthfulness carefully before you spread it lest you harm people through your own ignorance, through accepting and following false reports, and then re what you have done. Excavation work was going on in the valleys of the king. On June 1st, 1881, a wooden coffin was discovered during excavation the name of Ramses' eye was engraved on that coffin. An archaeological writer, Sir Grifton Elliot, writes that everybody was shocked when the coffin was opened. They were shocked when they saw a layer of salt was frozen on the body, whereas on other bodies they didn't notice any sign of salt. It is a fact that it was the king under whom Prophet Musa had grown up, as Firaun was drowned in the sea. Therefore, the layer of salt might have come up there. People might have embalmed the body of Firaun along with the salt. It is also said that there were some scratches on his nose. Some sea animals might have tried to eat his body, but because of the order of Allah, they didn't eat him and later the body was thrown out from the river. 
The mummy was kept at the medical school of Cairo University. In 1947, it was noticed that the mummy of Ramses' eye was losing its shape, but the display of the mummy was continued. After a few days, the mummy room of the museum was closed to the pub. The president saw the mummy and gave an order to repair the mummy of Ramses. After a few days, this mummy was taken to France with due care and respect. Interestingly, the protocol given to the mummies at France airport was the same as which is given to the kings. The mummy was welcomed and saluted. French experts started research on it with their latest technologies. It was found that the mummies had some kind of cuts on it. A group of doctors under the leadership of Dr. Moores, Edward suggested some measures to preserve the mummies. So in June 1979, a French Atomic Energy Commission took measures to preserve the 3,000-year-old mummies with nuclear radiation. It was one of the only kinds of experience, and the experts treated it after due consideration. The Muslims became very happy after the discovery of the mummy of Phiran, as they witnessed the miracle of the Holy Quran. Several anti-Muslims started pointing and said that it wasn't the mummy of that Pharaoh who had chased Hazrat Musa and drowned in the sea. They tried to hide the facts. But it was proven by scientific research and investigation that it was the body of Pharaoh whose body Allah preserved so that other people can learn a lesson from it. One of the biggest questions was how his body was intact while he died more than 3,000 years ago, in the era of Prophet Musa. A French scientist was also surprised by the remained intact body of the Phiron. After research on Phiron's body, he concluded that the salt remains stuck on the body was clear evidence that he died in the sea. Brother and sisters, Dr. Maurice was so shocked after learning that the Quran mentioned that he drowned the sea more than 1,400 years ago. Alay says in the Quran, after the manner of people of Faroon and those before them, they treated as false the signs of their Lord, so we destroyed them for their crimes, and we drowned the people of Phiron for where they were all oppressors and wrongdoers. After learning the fact that the Quran clearly narrated the fate of Phiron, Dr. Maurice then finally converted to Islam. Also, the mummy of Phiron grows the meat every day. This meat stays fresh and continues to grow. Also, it is reported that every year on March 15th, the Myces are released on the mummy of Phiron, which eats the excess meat. After that, the body is dressed again and put again in the glass. Brother and sisters, artists and various graphic designers tried to use the face of the mummy to draw his face. All the created video or photographs were different, but when the biologists and artists collaborated to design the face of Phiron, they took the city scan of the actual mummy and then added muscle, skin, and fat exactly the same way as the other humans. Now they are able to create the actual face of Pharaoh. Brother and sisters, we can see how all is fulfilling his promise. First, by the way, we found the mummy of Phiron and then the 3D face of Phiron.